I had a really good question today about uh, the process of extracting some vectors from kind of at odd angles <laughs> from an NX model to uh, to construct coordinate systems in another software, which was uh, which was a really good one. Um, and, and so a couple of thoughts on 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 that idea of extracting vectors, extracting vectors, and in particular of, of constructing coordinate systems and getting the information about the coordinate system out in a, in a high precision way. The specific question that was brought up was this idea that uh, if we're using the measure command here and we're looking at a vector here, these are inputs for usually for another measurement, but if we select an object like this edge right here, <clears throat> we can get, uh, as you can see here, a, oh, it looks like I grabbed the face instead. That's fine. Instead of that, let me grab the edge here. There we go. Um, we can get uh, a, a very low fidelity kind of representation of that vector right there. And the, the sp user specifically was asking to have more decimal places right here, right? Now, the, the downstream process of this involved taking this vector to another system. And, and we, we don't have the ability to copy that MB3, copy that particular field right there. So it sounds like it's maybe getting retyped, uh, and and that didn't sound real attractive to me. <laughs> so so I wanted to explore a couple different ways to to get out a higher fidelity number first of all, and also get it in a form that where we can copy and paste that uh, more easily to get it out. Okay. So a uh, couple of thoughts. Um, this this list right here generally we we think of this as the inputs for the measure as opposed to the outputs. Um, there are a few quantities that we have in measure that are vector outputs, but they're generally uh, in the context of things like a mass properties measurement uh, instead of uh, in in the context of a, an actual direct vector measurement output, right? Um, if we select some of those, there there's some of these out here, principal axes, these ve vectors here, for instance, uh, are a vector. And these we can actually copy and paste, right? We grab one of these guys here, for instance, take it to our favorite text editor, and, uh, and paste that in there. We can get those numbers out uh, in in that kind of a textual format pretty easily. Um, but <clears throat> that's uh, of course not the vector we're after, right? That's the principal axis of the body, so so that doesn't really help us there in that context. Um, one of the thoughts I had here was, and, and I think the user mentioned uh, something to this effect too, is that if you if you measured a couple of points. You could get uh, you could get some a result out. It sounded like he was maybe going about that uh, a, a difficult way. If you wanted to here, you could grab a couple of points, um, come into the preferences, and make sure the x y z delta values are turned on in here. Then you could come, for instance, and say measure that endpoint and that endpoint right there, and you would get some deltas between those x y and z. You notice these are four decimal places here now, right? So that's better than two, but, but still not ultra high precision. Um, if we go to the information window over here and, and say apply, then we're going to get this in a longer format here that will come out here with, uh, with nine decimal places, right? By default, as you can see, the three, six, nine there for each of those. So that's nice and high precision. Um, it does involve selecting the two points, right? Uh, but that, that at least gets you those higher. Now, now those two values, the four decimal places and the nine decimal places, both of those are governed by uh, a customer, or rather, rather a setting here. So if we go to, sorry, the preferences user interface here, and in the options, uh, so this options group right here, you'll notice in the dialog boxes here, there's a this this customer, or sorry, this setting <laughs> preference. There we go. It's the word I'm after. Uh, this will govern how many show up in the uh, the in scene dialog over here. Right, and we can crank that up to eight or nine if you really want to, and copy them directly from that in scene dialog. Um, the other one is down here in the information window, and the information window by default is nine. Um, if we check the system precision here, that'll go even higher, actually. <laughs> um, though it does get out to where it's it's kind of silly. Uh, but so, for instance, if we were to come here with that turned on, come to point uh, again, we could select those two points. We get those four decimal places here. Again, these we can copy. We can MB3 and copy these values individually and uh, and paste those in. Oh, they're actually pasting. That's that's kind of cool. They're pasting higher resolution than, than we're copying them. We're displaying four, but the number actually contains more precision. So that, that's that's actually a good step anyway. Um, anyway, so yeah, the, that's, yeah, yeah. Playing around with that. There we go. 
So, so that's one step, right? So we could leave that at four, but as you copy and paste these, that would come out with a higher precision. Um, here again, if we go to the information window, uh, I don't need that angle actually. Let me remove that guy. So we've got that delta. Um, these guys now, as I mentioned, we're doing the system precision. So this is coming out to like a crazy high number now. So we've got three, six, nine, twelve, it looks like, and then a bunch of zeros after that. So it looks like we're showing 16 decimal places here um, with, with you know, meaningful numbers out to 12. So that's, that's as high as we're going to get, right, out of our double precision system <laughs> there. But at any rate, that, that's one way, right? And But again, that's the two-point method there, right, for creating those. Now, thinking about this a little bit, the, the downstream usage of this, uh, the customer mentioned was to create coordinate systems for, for another system. And so uh, my thought was to use a datum thesis here to do the datum thesis constructor to, to actually construct the datum thesis itself and then pull out really all three directions at once, right? Um, so for instance, we could come in here and say, we choose any of the methods to construct, right? And I was thinking of this origin x, y here as maybe a, a convenient way to do it on this one. But if we wanted to place a coordinate system here, for instance, and have the x align with that direction, and then the y be perpendicular to that, but contain this, this third point on the plane, right, over here, then we'd get that coordinate system, for instance, right? That, again, is uh, origin at that first point we selected, the, the x uh, along the second point we selected, and then... The, the y perpendicular to x, of course, but containing this third point in the plane here, right? Then uh, we create that, and we get that datum coordinate system, and then we can look at the information for that datum coordinate system, and that's going to give us then really all three of those vectors in very high resolution, um, especially since we asked we asked for system precision there, right? So, so again, here we've got now x, y, and z vectors, very, very, very high precision, <laughs> Out there kind of silly high precision at the moment um, but you know that's uh, that, that's probably the highest res way to do it so uh, I hope that helps um, yeah again uh, with measure itself uh, these particular numbers in here right as we come in and, and do a vector and choose say that edge right there th these are really intended to be inputs rather than outputs uh, the concept of measuring a vector directly is kind of cool. We haven't done that yet, right? Uh, but that's that's an interesting thought, you know, to have a, a high-res output directly for that. That would be a great enhancement request. <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> and uh, but but yeah, again, if we do the point there, a uh, couple select a couple of points, we can certainly have a couple ways to get out high-res results uh, that way. And, uh, and again, going in through the datum constructor, right, and uh, constructing the datum, datum thesis out there um, really gives you a, a lot of easy ways to construct those uh, out there, methods that don't include necessarily picking two points. This is really picking three points in this case, but, but then you get all three vectors out, right, out of the coordinate system. And if the coordinate system is the end destination anyway, this may be the, the cleanest way to do that, okay? So I hope that helps.